All right, I can I for one can say for sure that I've dealt with prejudice pretty much throughout my entire life. And prejudice isn't just I'm not just talking about my skin color. I'm not just talking about I'm just talking about people prejudging me based on my demeanor, based on uh you know what I mean? People think that they can tell me about myself just because I'm a chill dude, I'm a laid back guy. And I guess some people are intimidated by my you know how I carry myself. Um and I don't know, this video just made me want to talk about how bro like first of all prejudice is out of is whack bro it's out of gas first of all but second of all there's so many different forms people hear prejudice and automatically think racism and that's not what i'm talking about right <clears throat> so <clears throat> today i was chilling surfing on youtube whatever now you know what i mean i'm dropping a video every friday so i'm wondering what what is this video gonna be about you know what i mean by the way if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe leave a like and uh turn on post notifications or whatever you know what i mean but i was watching uh i was watching video or youtube or whatever and i was just going through youtube and then i see fresh and fit once again uh, you know what i mean they're in the news but it's not for their regular it's not for anything that we haven't seen before but at the same time this is a little different so they got confronted by Brittany renner for the stuff they say about this about women on their podcast and her on their podcast and Bro, we all know, like, we've seen based on how some of her actions have been in the past, or, or not even that, just like some of the stuff that she said. Definitely somebody you want to avoid, to say the least, right? But at the same time, she's been redeeming herself in the news because she's been able to debunk a lot of the stuff that's been said by her, you know, her mans or whatever, right? So she goes on this podcast and she's like, What did you, you, you guys are, you know, you guys say you give advice to young guys to avoid girls like me and then she he was, she, she was like well what kind of girl am i and it's funny to see them first fumble and then eventually get into their red pill the red pill stuff or whatever right and the reason why i talked about prejudice is because this is this is probably one of the like prime examples of prejudice of being confronted by or as a result of your prejudice in the worst way ever obviously you know in front of hundreds of thousands of people getting put on the spot because you decided to say something out of gas and uh, they do say a lot of things that are out of pocket and really they're out of pocket because they just they don't live the same way as what they speak and, and they sell a thousand dollar courses in the meantime and to think about this red pill community right and they say you know red pill dudes angry at women because you know the super masculine dudes who uh, they talk about girls, this and that and the other. Well, there's some things that it's like, all right, we can see that based on the type of dudes that women choose and who, who we see got all the hoes. You know what I mean? There is some truth to what the red pill should be saying, but it's not about the it's not about necessarily what they're saying. It's about how the how these people say it for one and for how arrogant and how conf overconfident they come off because me i don't like them dudes because they don't they obviously they don't interact with women on a regular basis all they do is just well they do but not in the way that's like human to human only, only really in the way that's like entertainment or um i'm a i'm a i'm a dude with money you're a girl so you owe me this you owe me that like he, all, this is weird you know what i mean now obviously niggas with money are gonna have hoes but there's there's levels to it though you know what i mean you gotta be you gotta be you gotta just be like I'll say be your best self not just about the money but you have to be your best self for one and two you can't go into every interaction thinking that women are attracted to the same thing i mean you see patterns everywhere if you look if you look for patterns you're gonna see them if you look for what it is you're looking for hard enough you're, you're gonna run into it bro and then especially on the internet i mean there's echo chambers everywhere there's evidence of everything everywhere whether it's true or not there's evidence of whatever claim you want to make whatever perspective you want to put on the internet or in front of somebody or whatever you want to convince somebody of I'm, there's evidence to back it up now whether it's true or not is a whole nother video but there's evidence and um these dudes they 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 encourage people to just move with mad prejudice and me being somebody who has dealt with prejudice before like i said because of my demeanor i'm chill i really don't talk much at all as you can tell i mean when it comes to these youtube videos i don't sometimes i feel like i'm literally building the plane as i'm flying it when it comes to just 
talking and staying on topic and that's why i like doing this it's good practice for me because you know what i mean I'm, I'm working on my communication skills i'm trying to communicate more effectively and get myself put myself out there but i'm also um i don't agree with what they're trying to what they're trying to teach or sell you in their courses or whatever where they say this type of girl is going to do this this type of girl is going to do that just because they're women doesn't mean that they don't, that everyone isn't different, bro. Like, just because they're attractive women who may like guys that have money, I mean, there's, 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 it's th the thing that we're finding valuable right now is money. But before it was other shit. It was hunter gatherer, whatever, right? There's always something that a community finds valuable, and then us being who we are, survival and, and, and instincts come first. So you're gonna want to pick. And, and and be selective about who you decide to spend your time with and that's just human shit you know what i mean you can't be mad at them just because they decided not to fuck with you i mean bro these niggas make a lot of money for one and two they got good views they are they, they make good money they you know from what it looks like they get views they they got some uh popularity and these niggas are still sugar daddies right so i mean it's clearly no correlation between you just having bread just having it and and you just get girls all of a sudden they just show up some of them might but you're not gonna get the quality of what you the quality that you say you're looking for you don't just get to pick and choose out of a group of bitches like and it just you know what i mean all of a sudden you're like oh i choose you and then she's gonna just do whatever you say like no look at how many rich ass people go through crazy divorces and get their shit waxed i mean they picked and they try to make some shit happen but they picked poorly i mean bro the just because the quality or the quantity of the amount of the women you know what i mean that shows up when you got so many doesn't mean that there's quality in that quantity bro and another thing that they you know they, they would say is women uh if you got money you know you can cheat it's all good and blah blah my thing is there's a reality to where we know all of us we just know dudes that they cheat on their girl and she don't she just don't go nowhere. It doesn't have nothing to do with money. I mean, I can't say that if you do got bread, like she's probably not gonna stay around a little bit or try to make it work maybe or something like that. I can't say that she won't do that because we've seen that happen time and time again. But at the same time, that toxic relationship, we've seen broke niggas go through it. I know broke niggas that's literally has have been violating their girl for the longest and she stayed um and i know girls who've been getting violated that uh you know what i mean i mean i just watch and see they're getting violated and they don't even care every dude they pick violates them and they pick those same dudes but it has to do with the type of person that you are when you go out and, and you decide to pick what it is you like i mean relationships are reflective you pick what you are you know what i mean you match with who you are and uh me even even me i had to make some changes because i was running into girls who have who damaged Tra trauma and this and that and it was because i had to get over some trauma and stuff i had gone through subconsciously i was trying i was attracting those type of people because i was that type of person where i was just still dealing with trauma still dealing still dealing with stuff that happened in the past with uh just personal life stuff that weighed on me more than i thought it did and i attracted those those type of people who needed help and uh i tried to help people who weren't willing to help themselves and I was using that as a way to help myself, even though I wouldn't help myself at the time, if that makes sense. Like, I wasn't seeking help. I was like, oh, I'm dating this girl. I'm going to try to help her figure it out. But in reality, I had to make sure to get my, I had to get my, I had to get a clean bill of mental health for myself before I could just get out here and find something. It really comes down to the type of person that you are. People who, who have a lot of problems with their mind and their spirit and everything like that they're going to be attracted to something superficial like you just having money i mean you're going to run into a lot of people if you believe in that money you're going to run into people who also believe in that money and that money only the same way you do so that's the type of people that you're dealing with i mean these dudes are some you know they're narcissistic they're narcissistic arrogant dudes from what it seems i don't know them but it seems like they just care about money they just care about numbers that's it they just care about numbers but numbers don't make the man what you gonna do without them you know what i mean you always got to be a genuine guy from jump. You can't just turn it on and turn it off and uh, be genuine one day and then on the low move one way. Because then nothing's going to make sense. There's no um, 
there's no cohesiveness in in your character bro and people pick up on that shit right that's why they're getting exposed right now left and right left and right and then they try to go back and say they could try they try to go back and 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 spew that that prejudice and and say like there's they're spewing that that nonsense about like um oh if you're if i'm just because of who i am you're supposed to behave this way and it's like that's like this is this is like it's just it's just super prejudging it's super condescending it's uh it's, it's just weird bro brody's spirit is not 100 bro like he's down he's down in this race i don't care how much money you got you know what i mean if your mind ain't right if your spirit ain't right you losing in this race and it's like are you losing in this life shit until you get that until you get that right they're going to be getting roasted and exposed and all of that every single day until who knows when you know what i mean but every time you look at a video of theirs and it's crazy because people don't be going to their videos because of them people go to the videos because of the the guests and stuff like that but their show it just makes no sense i mean you 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 invite people on and then you insult them and then you're surprised at their reaction and you're surprised that nobody's fucking with you afterward like these two dudes literally lose almost every debate that they're in and and people in their own comment section roast them like 24 7 bro i mean what do you want me to do these two dudes i'm not gonna lie they are l mans definitely have no riz at all definitely have no riz if you live if you're trying to learn how to riz a girl about 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 by these dudes you have also have no riz l riz for sure and uh let me explain the lesson of today is bro don't move with prejudice don't prejudge all right you can't just assume what someone's going to do just because of what you heard or what you think or even sometimes what you see you have to interact with them individually and understand that people are individuals bro take everything seriously take every interaction seriously all right even if that means you understand you have to just kind of give a like be nonchalant with it like like re, like understand that that's how you have to carry yourself when it comes to interacting with certain people um treat everyone as an individual bro and understand that there's no either there's no get rich quick stuff there's no quick way to get girls you can't buy a course on human beings that's nuts to even think that you could just buy a course and it was gonna it's like this these two dudes who are capping every time they get a chance who are on some high and mighty stuff when one of them was a sugar daddy and the other one i mean he clearly doesn't he i'm pretty sure he's also on some of these sites i mean bro he, he he's like i'm not gonna bring you on the podcast unless you smash me and this and that like these dudes are literally bartering for box i mean that's the fattest l if i had ever seen one before that's a that's the fattest l i've ever seen bartering for box as a grown man is insane bro that's nuts you know what i mean but anyway let me get to today's to the to the point of today's lesson right don't move with prejudice don't prejudge understand that uh these everyone is everyone is there's is complex and they've been through things so uh you can't just you know one man says to jump you know what i mean you don't always have to say how high you don't always have to listen to what he's saying these types of dudes right here and i can tell you because i've been on the other end of that prejudice stuff bro like these two dudes ain't it homie i'm not gonna lie to you they just gonna set you up to crash if you walk up to a girl just because you got you know your tax return and you up a couple bands or whatever and you try to talk down to her she's gonna look at you crazy bro like a lot of y'all didn't you don't even qualify for the type of girl you're looking for and that doesn't mean that you gotta spin a bag on her but that just means be your best self before you just go run out here and get into this game that you're trying to watch videos on and buy courses on like the only way to learn is from experience whether you watch others or you experience it yourself so uh yeah with that being said bro move smarter and uh definitely be careful because the way that you talk to a girl these days can get you set up and get you behind bars so you gotta be extra ec you gotta be extra cognitive about how you speak language is powerful bro you can't just waste it um and you know if you want girls just be 100 bro let whatever happen come genuinely and at that point you'll know it was it was meant to be because you're not shooting a thousand shots or however many you know what i mean you're not shooting a thousand shots and whatever whatever 
not to say don't shoot your shot, but you're not shooting a thousand shots moving out here crazy, bro. Like, if 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 you really want her like that, go get her. Otherwise, man, just let just play the cut. Just play the cut, bro, and be smooth, bro. Be cool, bro. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching.